So let's just say that things are looking very, very good. Yo, ho, ho, Bills Mafia. It is a glorious day to be a Buffalo Bills fan. I mean, honestly, look at this playoff scenario right now. The number one seed, exactly where the Buffalo Bills deserve to be. Hey, that you're new here. My name is Dan Mitchell. I'm an avid member of the Bills Mafia, and I regularly put out videos about the Buffalo Bills and the NFL in general. If that is your cup of tea, I highly recommend subscribing and joining the family. And as always, smashing the ever-living f out of that like button. That's right, Bills Mafia, you did read that title correctly. Today, we are going to be analyzing each and every single possible playoff scenario for the Buffalo Bills. As mentioned previously, we are currently holding the number one seed, but a lot of things can happen. And that's why I ended up pulling up our trusty friend, the ESPN playoff machine. And we're just gonna dive into literally every possibility imaginable. And before we do that, I do need to give a giant shout out to this video sponsor, and that just so happens to be BetUS. Now, there's a lot of sports books out there, but let me tell you what, I found Atlantis. I have found the holy grail. When it comes to money lines, when it comes to point spreads, when it comes to over-unders, BetUS is the only place where I go. The best part about it is, is that BetUS is hooking up my audience, where they're giving you a free $50 just to sign up. You can find that link in my description, and they're also going to match 125% up to your initial deposit, and you can find that link in my description as well. So whatever you're doing, pause this video and download BetUS today. So as mentioned, Bills Mafia, we are going to be utilizing the ESPN playoff machine. This is a really cool way to understand all of the possibilities for all of your favorite teams and what the playoffs might look like. Right as you can see, the Buffalo Bills are currently sitting at the number one seed by itself. And we have the Jets in the seventh seed, which is interesting. The Miami Dolphins in the sixth seed. And then you can read the rest. However, things are going to get a bit interesting. So I wanted to put together what I think is going to happen throughout the next couple of weeks. So let's go on ahead and just make some general guesses of games that really don't matter much. I'll say the Raiders are going to win this one. Bills and Jets. So at the beginning of this video, we're just going to say that the Bills went out for this season. And then once we're done with that, we'll start discussing some scenarios if we drop a couple, whether or not it's against the Bengals, the Jets, Miami. We'll say the Bengals over the Browns, the Lions. These NFC games really don't matter much. Ravens will say beat out the Steelers. Say the Titans beat the Jags. The Chiefs will beat the Broncos unless a miracle happens. San Francisco 49ers. Like I said, these NFC games don't matter. And so we'll say the Dolphins beat the Chargers in this scenario. And then we'll start changing some things up. And we'll say the Patriots beat the Cardinals. So say, for example, that all of these go correctly. So you would see that Buffalo is still in the first seed. But then the Patriots end up sneaking into the seventh seed. And the Jets are currently out. So super, super interesting from there. So on to week 15, we'll just say that Buffalo ends up defeating the Miami Dolphins. I hope so, because I'm going to be at that game. So with Kansas City, I think that it's almost a shoe in that they'll take care of business against the Houston Texans. Jets and the Lions might be pretty interesting, but we'll just go on ahead and say that the Jets come out on top with that one. Their defense looks really good. The Patriots over the Raiders week 15. And so this would be the playoff picture after week 15, if all of these were correct. It's week 16. We'll go with the Jets to win that. So the Buffalo Bills against the Chicago Bears on Christmas Eve. Definitely a shoe in We'll say the Bengals absolutely rout the Patriots week 16. So then the Titans over the Texans. And so after week 16, after my predictions, looks like not a lot changes. And so the Dolphins and the Patriots is going to be hit and miss right over here. Honestly, like this entire AFC East is absolutely wild. But in this go around, we're just going to say that the Dolphins come back and win. It's the Jets and the Seahawks. We'll just go with the Jets in this. I really like their defense, although I think that game is going to be pretty interesting. But last but not least, this is going to be a close game. But like I said, this first scenario, we're just saying the Bills win out. So week 18, final game of the season, we'll say the Bills win. The Jets and the Dolphins, in my opinion, is going to be the deciding factor of seeding. But with this scenario, we'll change this up here in a bit. We'll just say that the Jets come out on top. First scenario, this is going to be the playoff seeding. And like I said, this is going to be exclusively if the Buffalo Bills win out. Because we have the Buffalo Bills as the first seed. 
And then we have the Kansas City Chiefs facing off against the Chargers. We would have the Miami Dolphins going up against the Cincinnati Bengals. And then the New York Jets going up against the Tennessee Titans. So if the Buffalo Bills win out, then we basically control our own destiny. As you can see, the Chiefs have the exact same record as we do. We just own that tiebreaker. Now let's start making things a bit more interesting right here. Let's see what happens if the Buffalo Bills, this is probably the biggest fear I would say amongst Bills fans, is as if we drop these next two divisional games. So for week 14, I am going to have the Jets beat us. Just like that, we've gone into the second seed. And then week 15, let's say that we lose to the Dolphins. Just like that, the Buffalo Bills have went into the sixth seed where the Miami Dolphins are currently sitting at the fifth. But we need to go back and make sure that we can switch up some games here, see if it makes sense. Miami against Green Bay, I see them winning. Miami against the Patriots, they'll win. And then let's say that Miami ends up beating the Jets at the last game of the week. They would be the second seed. Yeah, yeah, right over here. So this is what that would look like if the Buffalo Bills drop these next two, these next two divisional games, which I do not see happening. I see us winning out realistically. I think that we're getting healthy at the absolute right time. But looks like from what I am seeing, and I'm just talking worst case scenario, we drop these two divisional games right over here, then worst case scenario, we are in the fifth seed. But say that it's interesting, what if we drop to the Bengals as well? What if we drop to the Bengals? Then we have then dropped into the sixth seed, and then we would have to play Miami at the third, still sitting at 11 and six with Miami winning the division, which would be rough. Realistically, I do not see the Buffalo Bills dropping three out of their five. I really don't. It's just not realistic in my eyes. So end of the world, we drop to the Patriots as well, and we are the seventh seed. So the Buffalo Bills are literally sitting in a very, very good place right now. Um, a lot would have to happen for us not to make the playoffs. And in my opinion, I think that the first seed is very, very realistic. And then I also see us winning the division like almost handedly. We just need to take care of business, especially against the Jets, and especially against the Miami Dolphins. Yeah, Bills Mafia, that right there is the playoff machine. So I highly recommend playing around with this. I will leave that link in my description in case any of you guys want to check it out. But it is a super cool way to fantasize and figure it out. But like I said, this initial screenshot that I just put out there, this is going to be the final playoff spot for us. But definitely play around with it yourself. It's very interesting. Send me screenshots on Twitter. As always, I love to hear from you guys. Bills Mafia, thank you so much for tuning in to yet another edition of the Dom Mafia Show. And before I let you go, you better always remember, let's go Buffalo.